Hello YouTube, Rocket 3 here, back with another kicking action figure review. This is the day after prom, so I pulled an all-nighter at my friend's house, and all we did was play Street Fighter, Pokemon the Trading Card Game, and watch Sci-Fi Channel original movies all night and day long. So, uh, I'm pretty tired and out of money because I bought snacks, I bought prom tickets, I bought all kinds of stuff, and... I bought my friend Drew a uh, Hawkeye comic series figure from the new Avengers toy line. And I got myself, obviously, the new Return of Marvel Legends Extremis Iron Man Blue Stealth Variant. Now let's look at the box here. You can see the Iron Man nice and secure, the Stealth Variant, with the right leg of Terax. This is the Terax series. Marvel Legends, really fancy. Return of Marvel Legends right there. Now it says Marvel Universe at the top, not because it's from the Marvel Universe line, but because it is a Marvel figure. Build a figure Terax from the Heralds of Galacticus. There's Iron Man Extremis. My friend uh, that I got the Hawkeye for also just got himself a Marvel Universe Extremis Iron Man with a Thor Civil War 2 pack, which I almost got over this, but I haven't. I kind of wanted a new 6 inch, so. Using the box, big picture of Extremis Iron Man. Tell about the controls, biological integration. Meet the new Invincible Iron Man, enhanced by Extremis. Yeah, and here are the other figures in the wave to build Terax. Got Steve Rogers, Hope Summers that I almost got. I almost got her along with this guy. There's the actual Extremis Iron Man, just the regular. Marvel's Claw, who has pretty much no pain application. Constrictor, is pretty cool. Ghost Rider, who I plan on getting. I, get, I plan on getting the regular blue one. And Thor, who I really like, but I don't plan on getting. So, uh, yeah, pretty cool. Here he is, folks, Extremis Iron Man Stealth Armor Variant. Now, he does come with the right leg of Terax for your collecting connect or build-a-figure or whatever you want to call it. And I want to show you something cool. Now, it does come with the instructions on how to build him as if it wasn't completely obvious. And it has a checklist on it, too, which is pretty cool. But also, on the back, something new that they've never done before. They have, like, tales of Terax. Like, three of six. You get these little stories about him. Which is pretty cool. Especially if you're into the Heralds of Galacticus, like I am. Which, ironically, I don't have any of their figures. Not whole ones, anyways, but whatevs. Anyhow... Here he is, Iron Man, and he's pretty stinking awesome. Just let me say, he is absolutely beautiful. Uh, let me uh, show you here. Now, this is the variant, as I've said multiple times already. The, right, the other one's just regular extremist armor, while this one is stealth. Lots of, almost every Iron Man comes out with a stealth version now. But, yeah, he's pretty cool. How about we do some more articulation here, eh? Let me zoom out just a bit. Make it easier. Head. Up and down. See? 360 right here. The uh, shoulder pads. Articulate. Which is great for arm articulation. Makes it a lot easier. As you can see here. Also. Bicep turns 360. Whole arm. 360. With some scuffing of that. But I think you're fine. Double joint in the elbow, wrist up and down like that, and 360. Same with this arm, same, this hand, it's a different hand, but yeah, same articulation. Got this uh, diaphragm joint here. Pretty good joint. It, it can go 360 like this. This is the only time I'm going to force it to do this, though, because it's kind of an oval and, you know, paint. Something neat, his discs here on the side, they rotate. I'm not really going to test them because they seem pretty fragile, you know, so I'm just going to leave them be. I guess they rotate to make leg articulation easier, because if not, they might break off for leg articulation. I know the Marvel Universe ones, they kind of stick out and they don't move at all. They're, they seem pretty fragile. And right here on the leg, where this armor is, kind of turns. Pretty neat. Double knee joint. And this foot joint kind of turn. I guess it could go 360, but it's blocked like this, and up and down a little bit. <laughs> so, yeah, articulation, pretty nice. Pretty nice articulation we got going on here. But, uh, how about we get the detail and paint job? Uh, of course, it's 
the dark blue and the blues, all the blues for the stealth armor, you know. Pretty stinking awesome. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if these repulsors are stickers. They look sticker-ish to me. Yeah, I'm thinking these are stickers. So I wouldn't get this guy wet. Because I want to say these are stickers. I can't be entirely sure, though, because I don't have a lot of sticker figures, so. But yeah, it's red, like it usually is on this armor. Nice red eyes. The head's painted very nicely, by the way, except for that some of the light blue on the face here comes off on the uh, face, like right there. It's kind of leaking on. It's leaking right there. So the face is probably the worst place you want something to leak like that. But it doesn't really leak anywhere else, especially right here where it's two separate pieces. It looks really great. Uh, I like how they have one closed fist for punching and one open fist for repulsing. Of course, like my uh, Mark V Evolution Armor Iron Man has interchangeable hands. Stuff for holding, punching, and repulsing. And this guy didn't come with interchangeable hands, which is okay since he came with a collect to connect piece. You know, whatever. But still... Lots of Iron Man, lots of Iron Men come with stuff like that now. I think the feet are pretty good looking. The little two pointed toe parts there. And uh, overall, this is a really nice paint job. I love the paint apps of the dark blue and the light blue. I think it looks really nice, to be honest. Uh, some special things I'd like to point out. Like, it does look mechanical, and I really like the Extremist armor because it's so sleek. It's almost so sleek that it's hard to believe there's someone under there. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Because it's like, wow, that's really sleek. Where are all the mechanics? There are some things I'd like to point out. The diaphragm joint right there, yeah, it's really well detailed. Because lots of diaphragm joints, when you bend them up, there's nothing under there. But you bend it up, and oh look, there's detail under there. That's pretty fancy. At least, you know, in my opinion. But yeah, I think that the paint and detail is pretty good. Here he is compared to some of my other figures. Uh, he looks good standing next to the Mark V Evolution Armor Iron Man. They'll look good together in your armory. He uh, is actually shorter than the DC Classics Hal Jordan Toys R Us exclusive. Yeah, he's, uh, he's shorter than him, unfortunately. And uh, I just have this Iron Man 2 figure here, this 3 and 3 quarter inch one, just so you can see how they look together. And then back here is my Hasbro Spider-Man Classics Iron Spider-Man, since, you know, some of you guys like him. You can't really tell on camera because he has to be so far back because of his standing problem and all of his, you know, spider legs. So he's, uh, they're about a good size too. They're, they're, they size well together. So, yeah. That is the Extremis Iron Man from the Return of Marvel Legends Stealth Armor variant. I think that he's a really awesome figure. I recommend picking him up. Uh, the paint apps are good. Not quite sure if their pulses and stuff are stickers. I don't really want to try to find out because then, you know, I might lose stickers. But I don't really... I don't think they're stickers. I think it's painted on. I'm sorry. I could probably tell if I wasn't completely out of it right now. I've gotten no sleep in, like, huh, over 24 hours. I'm pretty pooped right now. I'm just filming this because I like to film, and I know you guys want to see this guy. So, yeah, you have to sorry if I'm a little spaced out. If I didn't see myself in the in the review, sorry about that. But, yeah, articulation's really nice. I like all the articulation. Uh, I like how they made the discs on the side move to make for better leg articulation. But I'm afraid they're going to pop off or something. And I love the shoulder pad articulation. It's good that they fixed that because lots of Iron Man figures had shoulders that wouldn't move like that. So the arms were a little restricted. But yeah, he's a really good figure. Great posability. I give this guy... <clears throat> I give this guy 4 out of 5. Uh, yeah, some of his paint bleeds on. But it's okay, I guess. He has great articulation. Uh... The discs on the side are a little fragile, but uh, all in all, he's a really good figure and a really good variant, so I'd pick him up. So uh, yeah, 4 out of 5, and I will see you guys later.
Good night.